Lindsay Hiram, and I'm an ecologist in the Marine Invasions Research Lab at CERC. I study animals and seaweeds that live on plastics that are floating in the open ocean and the Pacific Ocean. And um, they're important to study because they're giving us a lot of clues about how plastic pollution is negatively impacting ocean ecosystems. So because our research is in the middle of the ocean, it's really hard for us to get out there on a regular basis. It's really expensive and we rely entirely on nonprofits and citizen scientists to uh, collect trash while they're out there. Um, and once they get to shore, they send it to us. We get all sorts of trash. Um, it can be things from like water bottles. We've seen a lot of hangers, toothbrushes, um, to plastic fragments, which are usually objects that have likely broken down while they're actually out in the ocean. Okay, so these are um, some anemones that we find on a lot of the debris out in the middle of the ocean. These guys are totally unexpected. <laughs> we haven't really seen these in some of the samples that have come in prior, and we don't exactly know what species they are at this point. Um, we're working with a geneticist to try and figure out what their species is and where they would have come from geographically. Um, when I was really young, I was really into Rachel Carson. She wrote a lot about nature and the connection of humans and nature and how that connection is so important and breaks down when humans start to harm nature and their own societies. That essentially is what propelled me into the field of ecology. I feel like I've been trained to kind of look for nature's secrets, if you will. So I'm always kind of looking for patterns and making connections. So it kind of gives you like a different view into the world, which I absolutely love. And I also really love teaching people about nature and about my research and um, becoming an ecologist in the position that I'm in right now has really allowed me to do that in a big way, so. I think as an early career female scientist, um, it's challenging to navigate your next steps. There are a lot of societal pressures that can propel you in a certain way that you may not want to go, um, and figuring out how to push back against those and create your own path is super important. Again, mentorship is so important in this aspect as well. So having people who are um, in my corner to help me reorient every time something goes wrong um, is essential to me being able to figure out what my ultimate path is. Recently, we've really started to shift how we view nature and people and how they work together. And I think that peace is super important to how we move forward as a society. A healthy natural world equals a healthy human world. And those are so interconnected. I cannot emphasize that enough. <laughs>